Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. The lodge by the water still my favorite place, and I could come every year, and it wouldn't change. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me camping in the mountains. The smell of the pine trees in summer and the smell of juniper berries make me think of my dad every time. I loved snuggling Agnes when she was little. Oh, there's nothing better than that new baby smell. Newborn nursery brings me right back to those sweet baby days. My mom used to wear this beautiful gardenia perfume. It's been years now and I miss her like crazy, but every time I smell lush gardenia, I feel like she's right next to me. Every summer I spend a week with my grandma in Wisconsin. The amazing smell of baked apple pie makes me want to call my Grammy.
I have four kids, including the twins. Ah, the laundry is never ending. Why do we decide to go with cloth diapers? But Layers by Sensi turns the job into a joy. I recently hosted my first ever Sensi party. My guests ordered $500 worth of great products. And just look at all the free and half price stuff I got just for hosting. I'm a busy mom and Layers brings me moments of zen. As a designer, the details are what I look for. And this season we have a lot of beautiful details that really pop and make this one of my favorite seasons. The catalog itself really has story woven through it. It has really engaging emotional photographs. And so the story is all about how Sensi touches someone's life all throughout the day. Throughout that day, your experience would change because as we all know, something that you gravitate toward in the morning may not necessarily be the same story at night. We really love metallics this year and we have a few great warmers that really represent this trend well. They're great contemporary modern pieces that just have a little bit extra with that metallic on it. As we all know, fragrance is this emotional journey. I mean, it brings back memories. It takes you to a place. So it's very similar to the times of day. In the morning when you're waking up, it's something to be able to wake up to that's bright and beautiful and sunny to kind of lift your spirits. My name is Angie Courtright. I'm a director with Pilata and I get to be a work-at-home mom of six awesome kids. Oh, being the mom of six, it is a borderline between needing a hug and a straight jacket <laughs> because I just feel like some days I don't know if I'm coming or going and I have lost my mind and some days I'm like, oh, I got this, I'm on top of the world. It's fine line. We're always running around, running to practice, going outside playing with the kids. And then it's like, kids have radar for when you're comfortable. They know when you're on the phone, they know when you're sitting down and they need you. Mom! Mommy! Mom! 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 For the most part, we just go with the flow and I think that might be the only way to go about life. You just have to roll with the punches. Um, Hello? <laughs> Hello, yes, you'd like to book a party and get free velada. She manages her family life and her Velada business both equally. It takes a lot of energy. What I love most about doing a Velada party is getting together with friends and having them all come together and sharing the experience with them. Same thing with this, does not scorch. I actually decided not to sell Velada anymore when I came home from leadership in Cancun. And it was a shocker to some. When Angie told me that she was going to stop selling Velada, I immediately thought, oh my goodness. I decided to stop selling and start sharing. So I would share how we use the Ricklet every day in our house by posting pictures on Facebook. Real life pictures of my family using it and enjoying it and really coming together. You guys hungry? It really drew people in and made them ask, what are you doing? What can't you do with the Ricklet? Every time I pull up my phone, there's another thing that she's cooked or um, made for her kids. And I'm like, well, I have to have one. I have to have a Ricklet. And it really struck up conversation. And I built a relationship with those that became interested and engaged them in meaningful conversation to let them know more about the Ricklet. I think that people value that input so much more than being sold to. And when I change my approach, I had three Velada consultants join my team. But also I did, I think I sold 18 Ricklets in a matter of two or three weeks just by sharing instead of selling. Prior to that, I sold one. You ready, Kaden? Dinner time prior to Velada and the, especially the Ricklet was the drive through or something quick. Bringing the family back to family dinners is important. And you hear so much about Sunday family meal time. Well, we've turned that into seven days a week. When we're sitting at the table, 
eating dinner together. It's a real comfortable setting. They really have opened up about what's going on at school, what their friends are doing, what they're doing, how grades are going. It's important that they feel comfortable enough to open up to mom and dad at any time. I am a doctor. I am a coach. You backing things up, Will? I am a cheerleader. I am a teacher. I am a lover of social media. I am a kid at heart. I can choose anything, and I choose Velada. Velada! Hello, I'm Mayor Dave Beter. Boise is a fantastic place to live. Our vision is to make Boise the most livable city in the country. But to make that happen, we need everyone to do their part to protect our way of life and to ensure that Boise is a lasting, innovative, and vibrant city for generations to come. There are many ways as individuals we can make a difference in our community. One of the ways I make a difference is by riding my bike. Here's what others are doing. I'm a Boise State Bronco fan and I make a difference by recycling at my tailgate. Our turf may be blue, but our campus is green, and we're helping to decrease our carbon footprint by recycling more. I make a difference with my garden because I can and process all of the food we eat. I'm eating what I grow year-round. Well, we try to practice the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, we, we try to make a difference, all of us bikers, so we're obviously using pedal power instead of gasoline. I make a difference by staying on the trails here in Boise. I'm Cecil Landers, and I make a difference by picking up after my dog. I make a difference because I compost. I make a difference by properly disposing of my hazardous waste. The playground behind us is made uh, from recycled materials. It makes me feel like what we're doing at home to recycle is making a difference in our community. So how do you make a difference? Send us your videos by posting them to the Kerbit Boise Facebook page. Whether you realize it or not, your business is completely customer service oriented. Customers have a choice. They choose you as their consultant. So by giving them excellent levels of customer service, that makes them want to come back to you. You don't have to go above and beyond to connect with your customers. 
It is the littlest things. It's sending a thank you card, delivering to their front porch, remembering what warmers they like, remembering what scents they like. I always give my new consultants the recommendation of using a recipe box and index cards to list their customers' favorite scents. So if you have a customer that absolutely loves baked apple pie, you would file it under the bees for baked apple pie and put their name on the index card. That way, if baked apple pie is ever discontinued, you can go right to the recipe box and see which customers are affected by that scent being discontinued. You have a reason to contact them and you can make a sale just because you kept track of what scents they like. My cell phone contact list is like my personal assistant. I list all of my customers by their first name and then I put their last name as whatever I spoke to them about last. So for instance, it has the prefix of customer, Dorothy, she, I met her at the Plymouth event and she called me last about a light bulb. Karen, the last order that she ordered from me was Blizzard with three bars. Last conversation I had with Kim, she was asking me about the business opportunity. That way when they call me, it pops up right on my phone who's calling and what I last talked to them about. And that way it triggers my memory immediately so I can answer the phone and say, hey Wendy, what's going on? How's that Margo warmer? Did those scent packs work out for you? I'm instantly reconnected with that customer as if no time had passed since the last time we talked. Customers really appreciate that. It, it makes them feel valued. The greatest compliment you can ever get from a customer is a referral. And the only way to get referrals is to treat that customer like they're the only one. If I show that I care about them, then they want to do business with me. And that's customer service.